Hello and welcome back to the channel, thanks for checking in. Today's mod we're going to look at is the cheat terminal and basically it's god mode. It lets you do near enough everything and anything so what's more fun than that? And you can have so many awesome playthroughs with it. So once you're in the mod store you're looking to type in cheat terminal and you'll get that. And as you can see it's very popular. 88,650 downloads and I'm not surprised in the slightest. Once in game where you're going to find cheat terminal is in your inventory and it's under miscellaneous. Should be the top option. Pop that bad boy in. And there are all the different options that you can have and we're going to have a look at each individual one and see what fun we can have. So the first thing we'll look at is building with unlimited resources and now obviously that's a hell of a lot of fun. And obviously gathering all your equipment, all your resources can be a bit time consuming so having to build stuff and not having to look for everything is really really handy. Yeah so you can either add one type of item or you can add the whole lot. And it will add it in 500 packs a time. But then obviously you get over encumbered really easily. So that sucks. But if you've got a workbench nearby it's good because you can just go and dump it all in there. And now you have your unlimited resources you can build what the hell you like. Fantastic. Well we're going to add some pit boy dudes and pit boy dudettes. Or oh, no one pit. Pip girl. I guess you can call her. So, yep, yeah, I'm the boss. I'm the female and I'm in charge. Sounds about right. Now, what we were just talking about with getting all those resources, and the problem was the weight. So, what you do with that is you go into cheats and inventory, and you can enable infinite carry weight. So, that isn't an issue anymore. So, it will make it go to minus one which I would have thought would have been a bad thing because minus one is usually like uh -uh, not going to happen <coughs> but no that means you'll be able to carry as much as you want and to prove that I can just go over here and pick up all this stuff and you can see there in the inventory the carry weight is what is that four one two three four five six seven four hundred and 29, no, 4,294,967, and it could be more because I can't see the end number. There's all those stacks of 500 materials, which would usually encumber you, but because, but because I've got infinite weight on, I can just sprint to my heart's content, and it's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is drop each one of these nuclear materials and see if it crashes the game because I've never really done anything like that before and I feel like doing it. So I'll get back to you once that's done. Okay, so that didn't take too long. So I'm just dropping off the last 10 pieces of material. Yeah, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Game could crash, game could be fine. But yeah, you, I can see it in the background there's already loads. So, um, let's exit the pit boy. Oh, fuck. A little bit of a lag, but, oh, well, yeah. Fuck me. Oh, there's a lot of junk. Nailed it. Now to have a look at the next one. I assume it's going to be a favourite for most of you. Cheats. Inventory. Top one. Infinite ammo. Right, now that's on. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Oh, Codsworth, you traitor. You traitor dog. I'm all right, yeah. let me bring up the uh, that plasma rifle from the last video. And that this is the beam rifle, by the way. I said it was... I was saying it was something else in the last one. No, this is the actual beam rifle. You see it fires a continuous beam. Who did? 
And we'll have a look at infinite grenades while we're here. Um, I can't remember if the hallucinogen grenade makes people fight or not. Yeah, so your infinite grenades will be like in your items and equipment. Under weapons. I mean, most of it's self-explanatory if you're trying to find it cheap. But I'll try and help out a bit. Dad. Yeah, it makes people fight each other. I thought it did. Come on, guys, she's down. Just give her a break. Are you actually firing at someone else now? Oh, yeah, you're firing at the brain. Evil brain. Kill. Kill the mad cow. It's got mad cow seats. Kill it, quick. Oh, you can't escape. Oh, don't charge me. Don't charge me, bro. Laser in the bum. Ooh. Should we have a look at the mines next? Yeah, I think we should. I've got an idea. Hmm. Bottle cap mine. That's a killer. Huh. Okay. So what I've done is set up a shitload of bottle cap mines. How the fuck did that happen? Take two. Okay, so what I've done is set up shitloads of bottle cap mines and I've started the trail all the way near that jungle gym and it leads all the way through the, the houses on to the bridge and I'm at, right at the merry end. So what I need to do is fucking hit it now. Bear with. This hopefully doesn't crash. I don't let them do jack shit. shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that, was instant. that was instantaneous. In whatever that word is. Instantaneous. But at least I'm rich. So another cheat we can look at is unlimited items. Now this should be able to give you like infinite stim packs for example and infinite anything really so i'll just test it out so i've got 57 stim packs so if i use one see it automatically doesn't go anywhere it goes down to 56 but then straight back up to 57. if you want to be making a character build like a very specific character build like a pro sniper or a Stealthy Ninja, being able to set it to 10, to 5, to 1, increasing it, decreasing it by 1, tells you what the value is in a minute, so you can even dumb down your character if you're feeling the need to and you want a better challenge. Same with the perks, just give each of your perk a custom level, or you can even add them all, remove them at will, it makes for a really good custom run. So when you start your game, you can start off as like a god, essentially, which is awesome. Or if you want something more difficult, start everything at one. And besides having your own perks and skills, there is a piece that is companion perks. I have no idea what these do, but if you do, go to town. Have fun. I'm pretty sure they do something awesome. A good one that I think is going to be a favourite for all you guys it will be items and equipment and weapons in general because you can literally spawn any weapon from the base game into your inventory. How cool is that? Tinker Tom Special. I've never had that. No idea what it is. Oh, oh it's a sniper rifle. Okay. Shotguns. Justice. Sounds. How do you pronounce that? Le Fushil Telelips. The official Les Miserables. <laughs> yeah, combat shotgun with 25% damage and limb damage. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. In the same sub menu, you'll see there's a power and armor. So if you want to spawn in any base game clothing, you can. I think I'll add some summer shorts because, you know, the weather lately, it calls for it. See what that looks like. Oh, very fetching. <laughs> very nice. Damn build menu. But yeah, look, I, just, I look gorgeous. I look hench. Do a few laps around. I do a few laps around Sanctuary while I'm here. Gotta keep that cardio up, guys. Gotta keep the, gotta keep your exercise. Gotta keep that cardio up. Oh, morning, Mr. Brown. Yeah, lovely day for a run in the neighborhood. Do you wanna be rich? Do you wanna? Yeah. In that gold. 
There goes my papers. Want to be rich? No problem. Go over the caps and add as many as you want from 100 all the way up to 6,928,128 caps. What a random number. And this one I've just noticed, the keys come out your pit boy once you've activated that. And it opens up all the keys in the game. So you can be like that guy from the Matrix who's like the key master. Need a key, Sonny Jim, I got all of them. And then under cheats, there's quests. And it's a bunch of fixes for all the missions in the game. So if you guys are having trouble with any of that, it will literally fix them all. So that's something cool. Yes, yeah, so if you want to set the weather to whatever you fancy, so I think at the minute it's quite clear. Uh, why you'd want to set it to a radiation storm is beyond me because you're fucking suicidal. There you go. There's some rain for you. Still got my sexy shorts on. Nice and gloomy. So yeah, we're literally playing God right now. And near the bottom, if you look at the map markers, you can switch them all on, which enables all locations around the world. Well, maybe not the world, maybe just in Fallout 4. And then coming out of map markers, if you want to go down to the bottom to unlock nearest, you'll see that you have the option to unlock any door, any terminal, any container, any door potion. One question, what the fuck is a door potion? Is that something you get in Harry Potter and Severus Snape comes out and goes, Okay, class, today we're going to be learning about door potions. I hope you're ready for the next one because it's going to be a freaky one. It is a freaky little thing. Companion manipulation. Set to micro. Come out of the pit, boy. And where the fuck's McCready from? Oh, look. There he is. Fucking midget man. He's fucking tiny. He's like a little borrower. Oh, don't shoot me, please. Be careful not to step on you, man. Where is he? I can't even see him. Eat him a credit. Where the hell are you? Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, little buddy. How's it going? Yeah, that bird, that bird's going to get you McCready quick run. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, set to nonsense. And it is nonsense. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Hi McCready. Oh shit, fuck. Easy, easy, big fella. Please don't step on me. No, fuck, fuck McCready, fuck. Oh my god, look at him run. He's coming straight for us. It's coming right for us. What the fuck is going on? Where's he gone? McCready? How the hell can I lose a 20 foot guy? McCready? McCready, you could literally just stand on this fucker and squish him. The peering around cover with a massive gun. Oh! Bringing down the hammer of pain. Let's do those squads, McCready. Come on. And one and two. And one and two. Feel the burn, people. Feel the burn. And something pretty cool you can do if you want to play Surgeon Companion Manipulation. Change your companion's appearance. And just like the beginning of the game, you can customize from there. And there you go, McCready. Different man to what he used to be. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been a one. You have been a one for me. Okay, now McCready's gone. We can look at someone else. Yes, you can spawn in your own companions how awesome you could have a male female or simp so let's go for mr man uh hello okay so i assume that's spawned in a random companion oh hello custom companion spawned oh wait what are you doing oh wait you're both my companions guys guys i'm there's enough for everyone i'm in game right in game Guys, come on, stop it. Go on, fight, fight for me. Fight for my love. Yeah, and not only can your companion grow huge and small as well, obviously you can have the same effect. Oh, shite. 
Hi. Look at the running animation. It takes forever to get anywhere. So I can make it to the lamppost. I can make it to the lamppost. Now time to become giant. Now, whoa. I don't know. Giant dude. What's it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Supersonic speed. You can't kill me. I'm super giant now. I was stuck. Whoa, where the hell did I go? Whoa! And just like with companions, you can change your appearance at will whenever you want without having to go to a surgeon. And there we go. In a matter of seconds, I've become Mr. Mullet Man. And I've retained my sexy legs. And one other cool thing that you can find under game alterations, under world manipulation, is time scale. And that will set your time in the game to one real minute equals one fallout minute, which means, you know, if you're playing in the day in real life, you'll be playing in the day in the game. If you jump on the game at night, it will be a night cycle. It will be dark. What else have we got? Move to location. Ooh, Commonwealth, Boston, Cambridge. Let's pick somewhere in the Commonwealth. Ness. Scrap Palace, yeah, go for it. And here we are, Scrap Palace and Super Mutants. Ew, shit. Oh, I don't like suiciders, fuck off. Yeah, so I think we'll call it a day for that mod. There's so many awesome different things you can do in it. I highly recommend you download it and try it out. So many different ways to play. Fantastic, a must. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it, as always. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because there will be so much more Fallout 4 modding content to come. And consider liking the video. Comment down below if you've found this mod out already and you're checking it out. Comment about any stories or any experiences that you're having because there's so many to be had. As always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.